Hi Kinder family, today's YouTube is gonna be amazing. We're gonna take a copper base to a dimensional, gorgeous, high contrast brunette. Let's get started. We have a beautiful canvas here with tons of red left over from old color applications. So we're gonna go ahead and add a lot of dimension and drop in the overall base color of chocolate brown. I think our best approach here would be to use a green base formula to cancel out as much red as possible. First, we're gonna add some dimension before we cancel out any unwanted tones. I'm starting in the back uh, left section and doing a teasy placement of a nice thin slice. When you slice through the sections, you get a lot of pattern for your placement. The reason I'm deciding to use a teasy slice is because we want to keep our overall placement minimal but also achieve a high impact of dimension. I find the more that you tease the hair, the softer the blend. I'm keeping my tees very moderate so that I am able to work my blue powder lightener higher up the section. This will just give me a nice bold result. For this section, we're jumping up a couple inches towards the crown so that all this can be interior depth.
Now I'm slicing through the front section at a diagonal for softness. I love working on diagonals. It just creates a really nice movement in the hair. I'm even teasing the front pieces just because I want to keep her in a very rooted, ombre-ish look. And now I'm repeating the same placement on the other side. As I'm working towards the crown, my favorite thing to do is now to do teasy, chunky pieces. It's gonna end up looking more like balayage by the time we rinse it out. Now I'm misting the rest of her hair. This is gonna help me to pull through the demi-permanent formula really smoothly. So now I'm applying 6 NUA. It is a green-based ultra ash collection, and it's one of my favorites for corrective color balancing and removing of warm and red tones. Here's our beautiful results. As you can see, we neutralized a good deal of that red and transformed it into a really honey brunette, and it looks so beautiful.